Hello. <laughs> All right. My <laughs> Someone's starting early. Uh, my name is Rob Coleman, and I'm here as living proof that all male comics are, in fact, babe magnets. <laughs> as it turns out, though, even babe magnets, like myself, have difficult days some days. Today, for example, I've spent most of it at the hairdresser. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I think she's fucked me over. I walked in, sat down. When she stopped live, she said, Mr. Coleman, you ever thought about wearing a hat? I said, no, and this is why. <laughs> to which her response was, can I get you a toadstool? <laughs> so, Mr. Coleman, got the answer to your prayer problem? I'm going to cut it off. Start from scratch, when his hair never happened. I said, you won't do that, my dear, for one very good reason. I think this hair makes me look sexy. <laughs> Fuck you, let's try that again. <laughs> Ladies, don't be shy, be loud and be proud and give me a cheer if you like a man with big hair. <laughs> Hello to you, my darling. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> That's not creepy at all, boys, is it? You know, no... <laughs> Have you got a fella? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, fuck you then. Or not, clearly. Cause you... <laughs> no, what's, what's your name, darling? Oh, what's your hair? Mel, okay, hello, Mel. Mel, you're right. You should look like a man with your hair. Because this big hair, guys, has its uses. Yeah. <laughs> this big hair has been keeping train seats next to me free. Thanks his big hair. I'm on the Jehovah's Witness don't visit list. <laughs> Haven't been bothered by trick or treaters for years. So, I'll the Mel. Any of you ladies want me changing your minds now? No, okay, let's try something else. <laughs> well, he's being a very hairy man, I've always got a very tiny willy. <laughs> ladies, give me a cheer if you like a man with a tiny willy. Hey. <laughs> That's that's good. <laughs> There's always fucking one in there. So <laughs> yes. You don't put your hand up, Mark, and that's all right. It's not fucking class. You're okay. It's good. <laughs> are, are you with... Thanks for that. Sorry. Are you with this lady here? Yes. Right. Can I ask your name, madam? Right. Not, has he got a tiny willy? Probably. Probably. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Yeah. No, you are right, sir, to like this. This tiny willy has its uses. Yeah. This tiny willy has been keeping train seats next to me free. <laughs> Thanks to tiny willy, I'm on the Jehovah's Witness don't visit list. <laughs> Haven't been bothered by trick or treaters for fucking years. <laughs> so it's all good. I didn't realise I had a tiny penis. I went to the doctor to have it circumcised, and he charged me a finder's fee. Well, I was being very hairy and having a very tiny penis. I'm also a very polite man. I was born and brought up in a family where politeness was the most important thing. My mother, especially, was obsessed with politeness when I was young. She sat me down and said, Rob, if someone waves at you, only polite to wave back. Yeah. Last time someone waved at me, I was on the beach. I waved back and he drowned. <laughs> I should point out, guys, some of what I say is not true. Okay? If I say it is true... Aria's mom, like so, so we we'll, we'll all know. Uh, sometimes, though, being polite can work in our favour. Our family has a fine history of using the phrase after you. In fact, my great grandfather survived the entire First World War. <laughs> That's a proper joke, that is, guys. Get on board. Okay. <laughs> Words being very polite, I was very keen to do charity work. You know, this whole Movember thing where men grow moustaches for prostate cancer? Yeah. My mum does Movember all year round. <laughs> She bleaches, but she can't fool me. But then I do have very sensitive lips. <laughs> Good. Let's see how far we can take this. 
and tongue. <laughs> and that's far enough. Who would have thought you were such a sensitive crowd? It's all good, though. It's all good, though. Give me a cheer if you have got or ever have had a father in your lives. <laughs> Give me a second cheer if you know who he is. <laughs> that's good for around here. Fucking hell. <laughs> I've got a dad. My dad's getting properly, properly old. My dad is so old, he can remember. Shh. Fuck all. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Give me a chief, you have got Rover. Have had a mother in your lives. Give me a second if you know who she is. That's good. My mum came to see me last week, and while she was at my house, she collapsed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One person, you couldn't give a fucking shit the rest of you, could you? No. She is better now, which is quite, I'm obviously glad, I was quite worried about her when she clapped, but she's better now, which is good news, because good cleaners are fucking hard to find, frankly. <laughs> oh, dear. This may come as a surprise to all of you, and a sound is to you, Mel, but I have a girlfriend. I still fucking would, though, so you're okay. <laughs> We're lying in bed last week, she said, we'll have sex, I said, if you don't mind, I'd rather masturbate, she said, please yourself. With hindsight, which I said yes, because we're not getting on quite so well these days. When we first started going out, I wanted to spoon her. Nowadays, I just want to knife the old cow. <laughs> and part of the reason not going very well is that I'm quite posh and she um, isn't. And I'm doing my best to fit in with her, frankly, horrible common family. I do my best, but it's not enough. She said, Rob, what was the last working class thing you did? I said, you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what, though, guys? Here's the thing. Even though we're going to Rocky Patch and stuff, we are not going to split up. No. We are going to talk things through like grown-ups, and we are going to stay together forever. Because uh, when all is said and done, what would absolutely break my heart, what would completely destroy me, would be to see her happy. Guys, you've been a fucking joy. I'm Rob Cohen. Good night, good night. Cheers. <laughs>